Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Mercent. This afternoon, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Google Shopping and how to make your Google Shopping campaigns go from good, great, to profit. Many of you are currently working heavily through a lot of your Google Shopping transitions with a new campaign structure. And today, we're going to talk about just a few tips to help make sure that those campaigns are extremely successful for you. One of the first things and what's really important about the new campaign structure is the fact that you can use the different nodes of your categories. And unless you have good, clean categorization, you're not necessarily going to be able to be so successful at setting up those new campaigns. And in this slide, we have an example of good categorization and bad categorization. Um, and at Mercent, we work with our clients quite a bit to make sure that all like products are actually categorized and uh, easily usable throughout the entire campaign. One of the next very handy pieces of information is actually knowing which products are your top sellers and knowing them dynamically. And in Mercent Retail, we have ways to easily create rules and use those custom fields to actually show, and regardless of season or sale, that the top product will fall within that product grouping that you create. And of course, the huge bonus, one of the, my favorite bonuses to the new shopping campaigns are the benchmarks. You get a benchmark CPC and an impression share, some very key metrics to know how to maximize those product groupings that we didn't have until these new shopping campaigns came about. Leveraging those will help you know if you have truly maximized a product grouping or if there's still some other ways that you're not necessarily as competitive for that benchmark CPC and might want to pull back some. And this is true regardless if it was a new shopping campaign or not. Titles have to tell it like it is. It's one of the key areas that Google looks at in the data feed to know what the product is and how to match it. If the title isn't being explicit over what that product is, your level of success is going to go down quite a bit. In Mercen, our tool helps actually create these titles rather dynamically over the different products that you have. And last, this is a little small thing that a lot of people may not actually pay much attention to, and that's actually the sale price feed uh, feature in the actual feed itself. And from that, having your standard feed as well as your sale price go across is how Google is actually able to calculate then a price drop or a strike through pricing without actually sending out that additional piece of data point, you won't get the special call out that really shows how much more competitive you are now for that product. I hope this has helped you all and that as you work through your transitions, you'll have a great and successful and very profitable Google Shopping effort.